Joining us now, Lisa Shallot, Chief Investment Officer of Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. Lisa, it's good to have you on. And let's start right there. Great. More pain or garden variety correction here, just perhaps happening very quickly, given the fact that you are in the middle of summer with not a lot of volume and a whole lot of algorithmic trading to back it up. Yeah, look, I think that there are a set of factors that catalyzed um, the sell-off beginning, uh, you know, in, in, the last, in the middle of last week. Uh, but this is a garden variety correction uh, that really started from a place of extraordinary valuations. And so, uh, you know, we're not surprised given the relative concentration of this market. Uh, given the hype around the generative AI theme that, you know, we have long suggested uh, is questionable in terms of the timing uh, of it coming to fruition. Uh, we're looking at now forward at third quarter earnings when analysts expect an acceleration uh, in earnings expectations from here. So we're not surprised at, at what we're seeing in this market. Uh, at all. It was more a question of when it would happen as opposed to if it would happen. Mm. So what would you be buying right now? I mean, what are you telling clients that call you up on a day like today where the VIX touched 65 at one point? Uh, yeah, well, look, I think this morning there was an element of, wait a minute, let's uh, wait and watch. Uh, but the most constructive thing that happened today was really the stability in the United States Treasury market uh, that really gave us uh, some comfort and confidence. The other thing we were looking at was the credit markets. Credit spreads continue to be extraordinarily well uh, behaved. And so, you know, our uh, perspective is that the call for a soft landing is still completely on track. The United States economy is not rapidly sliding into recession at all. Uh, and so we're looking to buy some of those high quality, large cap cyclicals that we've been focused on, things like financials, industrials, energy, materials, and barbelling that with some quality stable growth like healthcare, like some residential REITs, like utilities. These are quality defensives. Uh, and there's really a lot to buy. The, the things we're avoiding uh, really are consumer discretionary and some of those high-flying, very expensive tech names. I mean, you you talk about those sectors, especially the cyclicals piece of this puzzle. doesn't sound like you think a recession's in the cards, at, at least not right now. I would argue the bond market today and Treasury yields falling to 2023 levels would suggest otherwise. Is that trade overdone? Do you expect yields to inch up from here? We do. Uh, look, this is a bond market, a Treasury market that has moved extraordinarily far, very fast on literally a few data points. I think you ma uh, mentioned earlier in the program uh, that today's macroeconomic data points actually were quite good, uh, you know, focused on uh, the ISM services component, where not only was the level of activity better than we thought, but so was pricing, so was employment, and so were orders. Um, so we don't think the U.S. economy is falling out of bed, uh, and we would not be shocked uh, to see yields back back up, particularly on the long end, uh, where they've moved very far, very fast. Okay. Do you have a similar sen sentiment when you look around the globe, especially something like Japan, where we saw the biggest sell-off in that market in decades? Uh, yeah, well, look, obviously, um, you know, we've had some technical positioning that, that came out of the, the Japanese market because the Bank of Japan has been so accommodative against this entire tightening cycle by most of the rest of the Western world. Uh, and that contributed to what we know as this yen carry trade with the Bank of Japan finally moving uh, that trade has kind of violently unwound. Our view is that uh, Japan remains an extraordinarily interesting market to invest in over the next two, three, five years. We are aggressively buying that market uh, today at these discounts that we've gotten over the last two days. Uh, our expectation is that we are going to see a stabilization in currency markets. The yen will continue uh, on the margin to strengthen. But, you know, the worst of the repricing is behind us. Uh, and our view is that 
you know, the, the focus on shareholder value creation, the focus on improving return on equities, the government sponsorship of pro-equity programs with, you know, their sponsorship of tax-deferred retirement accounts. These are all things mm -hmm. that are very supportive of the Japanese equity market uh, over the next couple of years.